Hey guys, happy January. Yeah, can you believe it? January 6th, 2024. So we're doing something just a bit different today. I don't do this too often, but beef ribs are incredibly good. So I'm going to smoke some beef ribs today in the Dynaglow Signature Series. And we're actually just in the beginning of a snowstorm, if you want to call it that. They're calling up to a foot of snow between now and tomorrow around this time. It's quarter of 2 p.m., of course. And I love smoking, cooking in, in the winter, in the snow, especially when it's snowing. So, this is what we're going to do. I got these ribs at the store yesterday. And they are 5.1 pounds for $14, which I thought was good. And I forget the cut of meat that they call what is attached to the ribs, but usually beef ribs are kind of thin in the meat because they cut them really close to the bone to, you know, make money on, on the cuts of steak that they take from this area of the cow. But we're going to make the ribs and this one's not too too bad and yet yeah, you can see what I mean the bone is like right here so the first thing that I did for these is and I don't make these often as I said is I took a tablespoon of a1 steak sauce a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce and half a stick of butter that's melting in a pot as we speak and I'll show you where that comes into play we're going to use seasonings, a little bit of pink salt, black pepper, garlic, and adobo. My target temperature is going to be around 225. For the size of this meat is probably going to be about three hours, so by five, six-ish, should be ready to go. So I'm going to take my plastic tray that I use all the time and we're going to open these ribs up. And we're going to Actually, that one's not too bad. There's actually quite a bit of meat on there for a beef rib, that is. This bottom portion has quite a bit of blood, so I'm going to rinse this off pretty quick. I'm not going to trim any of the fat off. I'm going to leave the membrane on. I don't have a problem eating that, especially once it's cooked and smoked. And for today, I'm going to be smoking these over maple. And last year I trimmed my blueberry bushes, and I'm going to be throwing some of that, the blueberry branches, in the smoker. All right, so here's my butter, steak sauce, and teriyaki sauce. And I'm going to put meat side up, not the membrane side, into the tray. And we're going to pour this over, about half of it anyway. Then we're going to kind of spread it around to make sure that it covers the meat really well. I'm going to flip it over, and I know it's probably off camera, but I'm going to flip it over and make sure that it's spread on both sides of this rack. And then on the meat side, ever so gingerly, we're going to... Let me move this over here so hopefully you can see this. And then on the meat side, we're going to give it just a little bit of the pink salt. Just a little bit of the adobo. Which is that if you've never heard of it. I don't want to say a lot, but a generous portion of black pepper. This is going to kind of make a bark. 
and then about the same as the black pepper quantity wise in garlic. Then we're going to take the second rack, put it on top of the first one. We're going to use the rest of the butter, teriyaki, and steak sauce. And we're going to spread that around, make sure it's covering the entire top of the meat. And I know I've said it in some of my other videos, I really wish YouTube had a smell feature because this is already smelling phenomenal. And then we're going to put, again, just a pinch of sea salt. I'm sorry, pink salt. Adobo, doesn't matter what order. Black pepper. And garlic. So I'm going to let this sit for about an hour to let the meat absorb those seasonings. All right, so we got the Dynaglow Glow up to temp and I switched from maple to red oak. I think that does a little better with the uh, beef. We're gonna put the blueberry on top now. And I've got quite a bit of this cut up, so we're gonna put half of it in here. And then we're gonna put the, uh, the beef. <laughs> on the grate. And I don't know if you saw my other video, but I make these forks. And we're gonna use it for the first time. So what I'm going to do is let these cook on the grate for about 10 minutes, then I'm going to flip them another 10 minutes, then I'm going to put a piece of tin foil down and finish them up. This is going to take probably three to four hours, but it's going to be worth it. And of course I temperature bottomed out because I had the door open so long. but. Yeah, we're going to let that do its thing for a little bit, flip it for a little bit, and then we'll finish it off on, not wrapped in tin foil, but put tin foil down so that all the juices and stuff don't, you know, make their way to the bottom of the smoker into the pan. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. We're just a touch over 200 degrees, and we're going to flip these bad boys. We're going to let them go about another 15 or 20 minutes and then we're going to put a bed of tin foil down. I don't want to let too much heat out. We're going to put a bed of tin foil down. We will let them cook probably an hour and then flip them and then another hour and they should be good to go. It's kind of common knowledge once the meat starts to retract from the bone 
you're in good shape. So we'll see how this works out. I have a little bit of blueberry left. I'm going to put on that right now, as a matter of fact, to get the other side infused with that sweet kind of fruity flavor. And we should be good to go. And yeah, the snow is coming down pretty good. So this is cool. I like doing this in the snow in the winter. I like doing it in the summer as well. But when it's cold and snowy and yeah, I'm really into that. So yeah, we'll be back real soon. Okay, so here we are. It's time to, well, I've already done it, so the time has passed. But anyway, I flip them, put them on some tin foil, still in the smoker, um, red oak and blueberry for the wood. We're going to let these cook probably another hour trying to keep 225 very close to it anyway and then we'll be back when we plate this up and we're going to do some garden potatoes from my garden and some peas store-bought peas and we'll have our dinner so yeah this is working out everything looks good so we'll be back in a bit so here we are about four and a half hours later total. Unfortunately, I don't have the tripod. So I'm going to have to kind of do this one handed. And I'm telling you, this recipe, so simple, is like really really good I'm sorry for this but I only have one hand so yeah this is so juicy perfectly well done We'll be right back. So here's the outcome. The smoked beef ribs, potatoes from the garden. I cut them into wedges about that size. Throw them in the microwave. This is three potatoes. Throw them in the microwave for um, 10 minutes and then in the air fryer for 15 minutes and then the vegetables are corn, peas, um, onion, and mushroom. The corn is from the garden. Everything else is store-bought. But this is one heck of a dinner. And give it a try. You really, really won't be disappointed. All right, guys. Enjoy your Saturday, and we'll talk soon. Take care now.